Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Thanks for joining us today. It is Friday, May 17th. I'm Chris Langlois. We'll get to your top stories in a moment. First, your forecast, though, with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. What can we expect today? Well, Chris, a few showers, even a thunderstorm, something we're going to watch for later this morning and moving into the afternoon. So have the umbrella ready, but it's not an all day soaker. By that, I mean nothing too steady that'll last the entire day. But even by that lunch hour, still a few showers that are left over going through the afternoon and this evening. There's a few more showers and a thunderstorm that do eventually end up popping up. So just keep an eye to the sky. 76 for the high today, mostly cloudy, a few showers and a thunderstorm. The wind will be at around 5 to 15 miles per hour for today. All of this being said, we should find some good dry time. 48 for the overnight low tonight. 70 tomorrow, there'll be a pop up shower, but that looks pretty isolated. Sunday, we are in the 80s. That is going to come, though, with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Late in the day, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. At least one person is dead after a house explosion in Luzerne County overnight. Firefighters were called to the home along Albertine Road just after 1.30 this morning for a massive explosion. Residents across the mountaintop area reported hearing it, and the blast was so strong it sent debris into a neighbor's yard. The coroner arriving on scene this morning and confirmed one person is dead. Another person is still unaccounted for. State police say a man in his 20s was able to find his way out of the home and was transported to the hospital. Also new this morning, a suspect is in police custody in connection with a shooting in Luzerne County. 69-year-old Gary Patrick was let out of a magistrate's office in 44 early this morning. Police say he's charged with aggravated assault. The shooting happened last night around 9.30 on Foundry Street in West Pittston. Investigators say he showed up at his daughter's house where she lives with the victim, Wayne Tilly, and shot him. Tilly was taken to the hospital. No word on his condition. Thanks for joining us today.